you know that you can influence your relocation consultant by using five specific words? Making yourself interesting for the sales representative assigned by the moving company you have contacted will not only ensure that he keeps you in mind as a priority customer, but will also allow you to bargain much better conditions when it's time to negotiate a good deal. Tell them that you are moving temporarily to XYZ destination and that in six months time, you will move again to your final place. The idea is here to convince your sales representative that by discussing with you, he can book potentially two contracts in a row, which will give him some justification to ask for an approval, to give you a larger discount, or to give you more free features. Present the sales consultant different relocation scenarios. For example, you're moving this volume or this volume, or you're moving to this destination or to that destination. Ask them to quote at least three options different volumes, different destination, or a mix of both. This will test the motivation of your sales contact and will also give you more leverage to negotiate with the moving companies as you can ask them to match the lowest cost quoted by the other companies for each option. Tell the sales consultant that you picked up his company among 15 names in Google because it was referred by a friend of yours who's working for ABC Big Company. If this big company is a corporate client of the moving companies you're talking to, even better. This way, you're increasing your negotiation power because you become an influencer in the eyes of your sales contact. Indeed, due to your direct link to employees working for this uh, big company or corporate clients, you can potentially bring even more business than just your own relocation if you speak to them positively about your customer experience. Tell them that you need some long-term storage before shipping. You can give as a reason that, for example, you need more time to obtain certain required documents, or you need some additional time to finalize your uh, new home at destination. Selling storage is very interesting for moving companies who have their own storage facilities, because the storage fee represents 100% of margin. Instead of negotiating a reduction on the storage fee, rather negotiate a discount on the removal part or bargain some extra services for free, such as uh, special crating, for example. If in the end you don't need the storage anymore or you change your mind and you don't need as long as you initially promised it, you will still keep the discounts you got on the moving services. Individuals like you represent the advantage for a moving company that you must make a full payment before shipping. After receiving the quotation and once you got confirmed all the additional discounts and the additional benefits you wanted to have, say that you are ready to pay cash and not by credit card. Bargain a 2% discount on the whole amount as the moving company will not only save the financial charge, but it will also improve its local office cash flow. And this is something that really matters to them. This is the end of this video. I have presented five words that will help you get discounts by mentioning them to relocation companies. If you're still watching this video, you may certainly be interested in learning more about techniques 
to negotiate your upcoming relocation. Simply subscribe to our channel for more free insider tips. We also explain in very practical details about negotiation techniques on our blog www.gregrelo.com. Check us out. Stay tuned. Bye.